Welcome to Off the Press, the newspaper review. This is the program where we take a look at our national dailies and try to make sense of it, dissect it as much as we can and as much as time will allow. And with me to do so, still in studio, is Ayeni Anihuvi. I said I was going to stick to Anne, but I, I, I seem to like Anihuvi. So. <laughs> I think it's the A. Right? The a that starts it. Okay, good to have you uh, this you. morning. Thank so you for having we me. will be looking at these papers together, but we will begin with the Punch newspaper. We have the Guardian, we have the Nation, uh, we have Business Day also, but we'll begin with the punch already displayed. Thank you so very much. Uh, we have IMF board to meet on Nigeria's uh, $3.4 billion loan request. That story is on page 25 of the punch newspaper. And the federal government plans mass production of Nigerian-made ventilator disinfectant device on page 9. And government partners states to feed pupils at home, also on page 13 of the uh, punch newspaper. And then we have Chinese doctors arrived today to spend one month, as according to Minister Ihani right there. On page 17, you find the details of that story. And on the front page there, we have the COVID-19 updates, a bit of figures there. We are now at 256, and uh, then 44 recovered, good. Uh, today we can see that there is, you know, they have put the figures of the recovered cases. Um, and then of course, unfortunately, we have six deaths that's for Nigeria. I'm sure to my right there is the global figures, but you can take, grab a copy and see the breakdown for yourself. The big story for the Punch newspaper is that fear grips medical workers as Luth UITH isolate 40. That story is on page two and is really worrying. Quara searches for 75 contacts, imposes total lockdown on offer. And uh, Buhari to decide on lockdown extension this week, uh, Dora Doctor dies also. That's really sad, those in the front line. And if you scroll, if you go down a bit, yeah, exactly. We have picture story, they're quite interesting. Um, that's the IG there and some lads all decked in uh, uh, security outfits and apparel with some uh, message that unfortunately we can see. But grab a copy of the Punch newspaper and you'll find out what that's about. And then top down, uh, down isolation center doctors, uh, others lament 30 million naira unpaid allowances. That story is also on page 29. And Rivers, uh, Rivers to fight order. I believe that's what I can see there. Um, Femme, uh, so, some, that's, that story is on pages four and five of um, the Punch newspaper. Femme kids as court uh, remands two pilots. Uh, that story is on pages four and five of the Punch newspaper. Are your partners UI on fumigation and six uh, clerics and others support? I believe we do need the uh, support of religious leaders, especially those who read a lot of congregation. That story is on page 11. 5,000 AKT residents received 5, 000, uh, federal government's 20,000 Naira each. That's according to the governor of AKT State, Fayemi. And that story is on page 13. And police released Naira Mali, an ex-governor candidate's wife on bill. Uh, you can also find that story on pages four and five of the Punch newspaper. And to the left, Boko Haram won, learn from Chadian president, PDP, tells uh, President Buhari. That story is on page eight. Annie, where do we begin this morning? There seems to be a lot of interesting yeah, stories. Yeah, grapes, medical workers. Yeah. Um, we have said it, we, we've said it quite a number of times mm -hmm. that there is no need to fear. Mm -hmm. There is no need to fear because COVID-19 is, again, not a death sentence. Right. Now, say, putting it on the front, in the front page of a newspaper mm. that fear grips health workers, it dampens the morale of people that if health workers are afraid, then what is what the, is what is the position? What is the position for me? Now, I also want to say this, that it's not like you are going to walk on the road and immediately you will get latch, um, the virus will latch onto you. Mm -hmm. Why are the health workers afraid? Because, of, because they are in close proximity mm -hmm. with what happens. And mm -hmm. this is what happens. And this is a situation that we feel, and I know that the government is doing quite a bit to mm -hmm. manage that situation situation of what is happening. Mm. So please do not take it on grip of the fact of, oh man, this is another thing that mm. is here to make us afraid. Make us 
40 of them have been isolated. Because they have been isolated. And once the isolation is over, they will be tested. And if they are negative, they go back to their lives. If they are positive, they are treated. Now, uh, even for those who survive, it does not mean they can go back into the society. They are actually still supposed to be on observation for a number of days mm -hmm. after, survi after surviving the COVID uh, virus, after surviving the infection, because it's like, it's like flu. Your right. immune system has been dealt a blow. Mm. And that system needs to re recover. recuperate. Yes, they need to it needs to recover. Mm. Your body needs to build up again. The body is not a machine. Mm. The body is a very powerful equipment. But if you don't treat it properly, at the end of the day, it will tell a different story. Mm -hmm. I mean, without taking for granted what you're saying, or, uh, yesterday was the day for medical, those in medical practice. And I think we use, also use this opportunity to thank all those on the front lines, especially the, those on healthcare, nurses, doctors. Uh, I mean, we appreciate all that you're doing. Like Annie is saying, they are the ones who come in close contact. Content. Most of us may never have to go to Yeah, you might say, no, 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 I don't want to go there. Yes. But they don't have a choice. They mm -hmm. need to. There mm -hmm. are husbands there. There are wives there, mothers, family members. Mm -hmm. You can't, they, they also have relatives. So they are there right in front of it every mm -hmm. time. They can't say no. Mm -hmm. They cannot say no. And I think you also made an important uh, contribution there where you talked about the effect of what we see. Yes. You know, maybe you should speak again a little bit more on the psychology, how negative news is capable of dampening, uh, for lack of a better word, yeah. you know, our spirit during this time and how it's important to maybe look at a bit more positive sides. Some, some years ago, a friend... Um, a friend of ours was diagnosed with cancer. Hmm. Before, prior to her diagnosis, she had traveled to the US and she'd gone to some parts of Europe and she came back, she lived in the UK. And from that time when she was diagnosed with the cancer, she started to feel, she started getting ill hmm. until the time she went into the hospital until she eventually died. Then I asked another friend who is a doctor, and I said, why is it that so people are happy, they mm. are, there's doing nothing going okay. on, they are doing okay. The moment they get diagnosed with this so-called cancer, any sickness, they start to go down. And here's what she told me. When somebody is informed, when somebody is diagnosed and mm -hmm. told, there are only two, pos there are two positions they can take. They can mm. either take the position of downcast, or they can take the position of a fight. Hmm. And the moment the person takes the position of a downcast and they say, this has happened to me, they start to go down. Hmm. And that's what she said to me. And so the important thing is that the, the, the fact is, because of all the negativity, because everywhere, I mean, it was on social media that people are making COVID-19 rappers. Hmm. And there was Reason. another one of COVID-19 raining on in a city. If you see it like this, would you go out? No. And all those things play with our mind. And our mind sticks to what we see. It That's sticks right. to our mind. So it really, it's, it, really boggles, it really boggles the mind. It's a bit negative on the mind. Mm -hmm. When you tell us more good news of the effect of this, we have testimonials of people who have survived. That's right. The British Prime Minister is stable mm -hmm. in ICU. But what we see is, oh, he's in ICU. But he's stable. He's been rushed, he's to, been rushed to ICU for his own protection. But he's stable. Mm. He's, he's, he's comfortable. He's, he's not on the worst end of the stick. And Prince Charles has recovered and he's okay. Out and about. We have other people, we have over 300 something thousand people who have survived this COVID-19. More people have survived than have died. Mm -hmm. The ones who have died have had underlying conditions that have dealt with this. So the more we take to the good aspect of the news, mm -hmm. the good aspects of the news, and put that into our minds, the, the stronger our minds become to to address the situation. Mm -hmm. And talking about good news, let's, let, let's talk about this um, plan of the federal government uh, to uh, partner with Nigeria, other, I believe it's other companies to uh, make mass production of Nigerian made uh, ventilator and disinfectant. Device. I also saw in the news, uh, device, I also saw in the news yesterday that uh, some core member are producing hand sanitizers, you know, uh, and of, of course there are so many people who have been producing the face masks with Ankara and distributing in fact, we saw in the when we went to Ajigunle, there's a, group, a girl who she's made different types of face masks wow. and Kara and distributed. <laughs> I mean, so uh, yeah. So I think, like you said, it's good to look at the positive, the positive aspect mm -hmm. of it. And then also the Chinese doctors, because I was listening to the news. Arriving and I today. Think, yes, the government, uh, the, the the government, the government body that is. Uh, 
ahead of this now says that the Chinese doctors are not here to interact with or diagnose any of the patients. Right. They are not going to come near them. They are not going to visit the isolation. They are bringing equipment mm -hmm. that is going to be used for this. And they are coming here just to install mm -hmm. and see how the equipment works. Mm -hmm. So they are, the doctors are coming does not mean that they are taking over what Nigerians are doing mm -hmm. already. It's good that you're making that clarity because there's been a lot on social media. media Beca and because we, we are not purveyors of fake news here, <laughs> we are not going to give. <laughs> we are not going to give. We're not going to am amplify that. Yeah. Uh, so in the interest of time, we'll move very quickly to our next paper. And I believe we have the Nation News uh, paper and it will be displayed. Uh uh, would be displayed. Be but before then, two trillion naira social investment program a failure. Well, I mean, we've talked about that already in the news. And police to arraign Naira Mali PDP chief and others. But the other paper says they've been released. So grab a copy of the Nation newspaper to know uh, what the position is. Anxiety as uh, 67 head head for Oshun uh, from Cote d'Ivoire. That story is uh, page from on page 29. How are they supposed to move with the lockdown? Okay. The, so, the government the government does allow some movement. Okay. Yes, so so th there's going to be some special flight for them or is it going to yes, be Yes, because one or? one of the one of the one of the palliatives, one of the one one of the parts that the government did release, one mm. of the things I read was that the government actually has told the air force to stand by. Okay. And that any time that they need to, they will have to fly. Mm -hmm. So the air, the air Force is on standby, and I think these are things that will be done mm -hmm. by and can be done by the Air Force. Okay, yes. great. Thank you, Annie, for that. And again, we have that picture, those picture story there. Extension of lockdown not ruled out, says federal government. How, how do we take this news uh, again? Um, should this be extended? It's, uh, you see, Amaka, the interesting thing is that it's not, it's not our call. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's not our call is because government is, is privy to information that we don't have. Right. Doctors know things that we don't know. There are things going on, I, I can say, maybe on, at the back of this street mm -hmm. that we don't know because we are, seeing, we are looking mm -hmm. and we see from our own aspect of it. Right. And I just want to encourage Nigerians and encourage each and every one of us mm. not to look at what the government is doing or what the law enforcement is doing mm -hmm. based on our historical knowledge of what they have done wrong before. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's, not a very, it's not a very healthy way to mm -hmm. look at all the sacrifices that everyone is making mm -hmm. to try and control tempers mm -hmm. and situations of what is going on. It is a lot to deal with. Mm -hmm. They are also family members who also have a right to stay at home with mm. their families okay. in the midst of all this. Mm -hmm. But because of the call to duty, mm -hmm. they still come out and put themselves in front of everybody. Mm -hmm. Before a car comes to a policeman, mm -hmm. before your car arrived, there could have been 10 different cars who have looked at them in a derogatory way okay. and spoken to them in a bad way. Mm -hmm. Then your car comes and you are doing the same thing. Now, that might be the point that that person is ready to snap. Mm -hmm. Annie, I see that you're trying, you're trying really to <laughs> defend them, and particularly the policemen. And I, I agree with you, but I also really want to say that during this time, much as they're trying to make it work for us, Shall we call on you know policemen especially to be um, to also be gentle in their their discharge of duties? I mean, for instance, this morning our own uh, people who are coming to work, journalists and all those who need to make this uh, news to happen, happen. we are delayed by by you know by the policemen, and we know that we've been told if you have your ID card is a pass. We this we are essential duties. Yes. I, I really think it's important also that they get that order from whoever it is to say, know those that you allow. Journalists, doctors, those in the media, please allow them. Because if you delay by five minutes, you're delaying a whole news bulletin. But I agree with you. I'm just trying to say, let's have a balance. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 because the thing is, Amaka, I've been on the front lines. I am always on the front lines of some of these things. And mm -hmm. a lot of what people don't understand is that being in, on that spot, you are dealing with a lot of emotional balance and psychological balance, right. being on that spot. And for example, when that happened, if you hear the other end of the story, mm -hmm. I'm sure your, your, your reaction will mm -hmm. be different. Okay. If you hear the complete mm -hmm. story of what happened, mm -hmm. yes, what happens immediately is really bad, it's really horrible and it needs to be addressed. 
But then the true story of everything that, had, that has really happened, you will kind of then say kudos that, okay, yes, I'm sorry for this. You tried. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for this. I won't do it again next mm -hmm. time. Mm, okay, so it's a call for empathy. It's a call for empathy sides. on both sides. All right, so we move on very quickly now to the Guardian newspaper, which will be our last newspaper for the day. And it says, doctors flee federal government states for poor handling of COVID-19. Uh, it's already displayed there. Thank you very much. Multinational troops uh, killed nine Boko Haram terrorists in the Chad, uh, infected or uninfected. COVID-19 hurts life for all. That's true. Ebony Kaduna government arrests nine pastors for holding church services. If you ask me, I would say that it's irresponsible for them to do so. Uh, six youths killed in Kaduna as traders clash with police over lockdown, just what we're talking about. Again, and doc, uh, we have that headline already. So, Annie, very quickly, let's talk about one or two two stories and then call it a wrap. So which one is catching your attention? Again, the police, your friends. Our, okay, our friends. <laughs> our friends. They are there again in the news. Yes. Okay. Um, for example, I'm sure something something must have triggered of whatever happened. Yeah. Something must have triggered it up. Mm -hmm. Because the moment, every single bullet that is released out of the gun of a policeman, it gives a detailed report of it. Right. No, 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 the police, they don't just kill and they get away with it just like that. They have to give account of mm -hmm. it. From my history of interactions with, the, with security systems and security people, mm -hmm. they give an account for it. So mm -hmm. it's not like they have a free fall to do whatever they like. Right. It has to be our collective effort to mm -hmm. be obedient. Mm -hmm. It uh, to, has to be our collective responsibility to know that this is a situation where tempers are high. Mm -hmm. And by the time you are approaching the policeman, you are going with the mindset that this is a human being who could be upset. Mm -hmm. He's there in the sun. He's there in the rain. You are not. He's there in the dark. He's there in the dark. You are not. At 2 a.m., when there may be, ooh, you say, oh, no, the ghost is coming. The policeman is still there. The reason why we are able to sit down in a calm environment is because the police, are, they are working outside. All right. So we need to also approach them with the fact that anything could be, mm -hmm. anything could be happening. Sir, what can I do? Yes, sir, I'm sorry. It doesn't, it, it doesn't do, whether you are right or wrong, I'm sorry, no problem. Thank you very much. Next time, I'll remember to do this different. Mm -hmm. And they'll let you go. Okay, let's all do the right thing. Let's do, all do the right thing. <laughs> all right, let's thank all do you. the right thing. Yeah, thank you so very much, Annie, you, uh, okay. for coming. And this is where we we'll call it a wrap for today's edition. Catch us again on channels 408 uh, DSTV here on Plus TV Africa. I am Amaka Okoye saying, please stay safe.